All right, today we got the old Sega Blast City, and I figured we could put in this game here. Huh, wonder what that is. Well, let's uh, pop this on and play some of that. Now, the, uh, the footage on this beast might be a little bit uh, blurry. There might be a few black lines in it. I'll try the best we can here. This is a classic game. Maybe some of you have played before on MAME. Um, others of you maybe you've never heard of it before. It kind of has a bit of a Indiana Jones theme to it, mixed with some Noah's Ark, uh, made by Taito. Good side-scrolling action game. And that game is Rune Ark, also known in uh, Europe and the West as Growl, but uh, made by Taito, 1990. Great uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up, and this game is great for one, two, three, or four players. When you put in credits, that's what it says. <laughs> So I'll give this a shot here. You can choose different characters and their abilities. Some are stronger with attacks but have less life and then others are pretty well balanced. Give uh, first guy here. The whole idea is uh, behind the game is uh, a group of mercenaries here to stop poachers. But pretty fun action. Good graphics. <laughs> Lots of multi uh, enemies at one time battles. These are really fun as well can be quite challenging, a uh, variety of different weapons that you can pick up. But all around really fun game if you're into uh, a lot of the side-scrolling beat-em-ups, this might be one to try out. It's uh, a whole lot more fun if you get a lot more uh, players at one time. Just a large amount of enemies. Sometimes the enemies get a little bit overwhelming and it's hard to do, uh, deal with with just one player. What's really nice about this game is the uh, amount of different weapons that you can pick up. You have a lot of uh, variety. Different combo moves. But really, really similar to uh, an Indiana Jones kind of look here. What's nice about the whip is you can hit behind you as well. What do you 
So if you're into, uh, like, uh, Double Dragon, things like that, you want to give this one a try, I'd recommend giving it a shot. You can find it, like I said, underneath, um, Rune Arc is the Japanese name for this, and Growl, G-R-O-W-L, is the, uh, European name for this, so you can give it a shot. Got animals here that'll help you out. Sometimes the boss battles take a little bit too long, <laughs> a little bit drawn out. Saved a bunch of animals. The theme behind it, you know, some people might say, wow, that's pretty lame, or, you know, may not really enjoy it so much, but uh, as for being a side scrolling beat em up, it's kind of fun. The colors on this are pretty good. Uh, through the camera here, they're probably not going to show up so well. They'll probably show up a little bit too bright, but... For being an earlier arcade game, it's not bad looking at all. This is probably one that you can find uh, online here, or one of the auctions. Probably looking at spending about... That was pretty lame. But you can probably look at finding this one for about a hundred, maybe a little bit more, hundred bucks. One thing to make sure of if you are looking to pick up uh, some of these older arcade boards is this arcade board has uh, a uh, top board and it has a motherboard for it as well. Uh, it has the ROM board and the mother. And uh, if you don't have both of the PCBs and you, you can't see clearly on the auctions, make sure you don't pick them up. Uh, this is one that I've had laying around for quite some time, just the top half. And uh, when I bought the game, I didn't realize that it had two, uh, two parts to it. And the bottom part of the motherboard, the PCB, is just too, uh, too difficult to find if it's not together. So uh, it took me quite some time to get the bottom part, but finally, recently, was able to get that bottom part of the board and uh, got it working. So I'm pretty happy. That's why I decided to make the video here and had a couple of requests to see more arcade games. So figured this would be a pretty good one to give a shot.
kind of cool way of returning. And here we're getting some more multiplayer or multi uh, enemy action. Got a lot of uh, resemblance here to Double Dragon with some of the moves. We'll go up here through this next boss fight and then uh, we'll end it. As you can see, it gets pretty hectic, pretty crazy around here after a while. Here's our boss battle. So, just wanted to give you a little bit of a look here at what Rune Arc looked like for the arcade. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. It's got a pretty wild concept to it. A lot of fun if you're into the beat em ups. And uh, not a bad game to try out if you got it on MAME or uh, you can find it for a good deal for the arcade. So, it's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.